The definition of a superstition is a reason or reasons for behaving or acting in a certain way. And this week's Let's Talk Squash question is, do you have any squash superstitions? For example, if you're old enough, you might remember that Peter Marshall, who reached world number two and used to play with two hands on both sides, he used to roll the ball around in a particular way just before he served uh, other people bounce the ball and here's a quick fact there was a time when uh, squash didn't allow you to bounce the ball just before you served which just seems crazy nowadays but they were like super strict um, so we might have superstitions on court you know a lot of people used to probably nowadays they won't be allowed to do that used to run their hand down the wall keep their hand dry I, I certainly used to do that although I, I'm very very lucky very lucky I don't get sweaty palms um, other people like in the change room to get dressed in a certain way they have a particular heat up that they like to do they there's like a hundred a million different things that could be your superstitions and I'm interested to hear what they are and I'm also interested to hear the story behind them you know, how did you come to this superstition? You know, you start doing something and it worked. You know, you know, like Rafa with his thing, the way he does his serve. And it's not just a superstition at this point because it's like a, um, I, in fact, I've forgotten the, the phrase, which is, you know, quite, quite embarrassing, but you've got this um, set up for performing an action. And, and if that happens when you've got time, like, just before you serve either in squash or tennis or before you hit a ball in golf if you've got time going through this pre-hit routine maybe that's the phrase i can't remember now if you've got this pre-hit routine that can make a difference is it a superstition yeah i don't know uh, there's a fine line between those things isn't there i mean you have to put your left sock on first because you won all of the matches when you did that that's clearly a superstition bouncing the ball to help focus your mind superstition or you know pre-hit routine mm, i don't know you can tell me about those so i'm also interested in the stories behind those things and all of the different things maybe they're not yours maybe they're somebody else's so let's let's share our superstitions and with that in mind i haven't got any i haven't got any superstitions that um i really follow i do like the idea of touching the the wall or the door just before you enter the court and mentally leaving all of your non-squash issues behind. It's a, a, a very old technique, and you're basically saying, everything that is worrying me outside of squash will be here when I come out, but I'm not going to take it onto the court. That's like a, a mindset tip that I've discussed before. Is that a superstition? No, because I don't always do it. And you know, I, I'm not saying that I play well if I do it and I don't play well if I don't, but it is a good thing for you to be able to do, to leave all of your worries behind. But I don't have any superstitions. I don't have to, have, I mean, I like yellow grips, but you know, if I don't have a yellow grip, I'm not worried about that. I just, I'm the kind of person who just says, these are the cards that I've been dealt. This is the situation now just got to do my best uh, sometimes it's okay and some, most of the time it's terrible but that's fine so tell me your superstitions